الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Nice to see you brothers and sisters. Inshallah we'll carry on where we left. But before we proceed, I would like to draw your attention on the board and I wrote down something. We are already familiar with it. But one thing which I had not discussed, we'll discuss this today. In this lesson number nine, Dr. Abdurrahim is explaining us many different grammar rules, brothers and sisters. Uh, small grammar rules, you know. And we have to now study one by one. Okay. As we know, in Arabic language, the noun declines in three cases. Uh, nominative case, accusative case, and genitive case. In Arabic we say, al-marfu, al-mansu, and al majroor huh? So, brother, mudari sun, what will become now in mansub? Mudari san. Huh? What will become in majroor? Mudari sin. Huh? We know that. Huh? We are familiar. Huh? And we will always see the vowel signs at the end. Either dhamma or fata or kasra. So, if I say al mudari su, then it will become al mudari sa. And al mudari si, if I put al there. Huh? I did not put al, but we know how to do it, you know. And then we have mudarrisa tun, and then it will be mudarrisa tan, then it will be mudarrisa tin. Huh? And if you put al, then it will be al mudarrisa tu, al mudarrisa ta, al mudarrisa ti. Fine. Now we can see the vowel sign. When we are in dual, in musanna, then it, it is mudarrisani and then mudarrisaini and then again mudarrisaini are you sure okay this is not coming in uh, you know later on it will come but it was not there in book one okay shall i write down mudarrisaini maybe i should write down huh? okay brothers and sisters I left the mufrat because you know the mufrat. Huh? Well and sisters, mudarisani. Is it marfu? I don't see dhamma there. What is the sign of marfu? Alif. Remember? Alif is the sign of marfu. And then mudarisani. Huh? Where is the sign of mansub? Ya. ya. Are you with me? We haven't forgotten that, inshallah. And then mudarisani. Sign of majroor is ya. And then we have mudarisa tun and we make it dual mudarisa tani. And then make it mansub mudarisa taini. And then again mudarisa taini. Got the idea, brother and sister? Then we have jama mudari suna. Are you with me? Mudari suna. What is the sign of marfu? Wow. Then we have Mudarri Sina. Mudarri Sina. Are you with me? Okay. Mudarri Sina. Sign of Mansub is Ya. And again, Mudarri Sina. Sign of Majroor is Ya. Now we come to Mudarri Sa Tun. I can see that Dhamma there. Tanwin Dhamma. If I put Al, it will become Al Mudarri Sa Tu. Now what will happen in Mansub form? Normally, mansu form is very easy, brother. Huh? What is the mansu form? Tan. Huh? Because it, if it's tun, it will be tan. So this will become mudarri sa tin. What happened? We are so used to having tan as a as a sign of mansu, and now it is tin. What's going on? And what will be the majroor? Mudarri 
sa pin. Huh? So, what is the rule, brothers and sisters? The rule is, if it is a jama, muanas salim. When it is a jama, muanas salim. When you make it mansub, you will make it mansub by giving it a kasra. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So, if you say here, for example, brothers and sisters, if you say quickly, Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, then make it dual, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimain. Then you make it plural, Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina. Now let us come to Muannas. Muslimun, make it Muannas. Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. Then make it Musanna. Muslimatani, Muslima, Taini, Muslima, Taini. Now make it plural. Muslimatun, Muslima, Tin, Muslima, Tin. We will remember that. Eh? Mominatun, Mumina, Tin, Mumina, Tin. Are you with me? Huh? Majalatun, Majalla, Tin, Majalla, Tin. Eh? Talibatun, Talibatin, Talibatin. Huh? This is a new rule that we must keep it in our mind, huh? inshallah. Another rule, brother and sister, very important rule. Okay? When it is a singular noun, Muhammadun, and you bring Harfu Nida. What is Harfu Nida? Ya. Huh? Harfu Nida. Huh? Vocative particle. Okay? Calling somebody, we use ya. For calling somebody, for calling somebody, we use ya. And if it is Muhammadun, it becomes Muhammadu. Huh? Aminatu will become ya aminatu. Okay. But what happens if it is mudaf, mudaf ilahi? When it is a compound, what happens, brothers and sisters? Huh? See, it became Ya Muhammadu. Sahi. Now I have here Abdullahi. Now I say Ya. Now what happens, brother? Abdu becomes Abda. This is the new rule we will remember. Huh? Say. Abdullah became Ya Abdullah. Huh? Okay. Here is another one, brother. Abu Bakrin. And when you put Ya there, Abu will change into Abba. Huh? Abba Bakrin. Are you with me? Because this is a special noun, remember? Abu, Ahu, when they are mudaf, they have a different spelling rule. Huh? So it will become Abba Bakrin. Huh? Huh? Abu Bakr, when you say Ya, then you will say Ya Abba Bakr. Okay? If my name is Abu Munira, okay? if you want to put Ya, then you will say Ya Abba Munira. Are you with me? Same way, brothers and sisters, we have here, we always say, Rabbuna. Are you with me? What is Rabbuna? Mudaf, Mudafli. How many words are there? Two. Hmm? So, when you have Mudaf, Mudaflihi, and then when you put vocative part or particle, Harfunida, uh, ya, then the mudaf becomes mansub. So what will happen now? Ya, Rabbana. 